YouTube fam, we are back with another video, and I'm about to say super excited. That's been my typical intro. We are editing something super crazy today. I'm going to show you how to go from what I, this is right here, to this. So I put balloons on her hand because she lost her balloons. So if she lose her balloons, what, what we, we got we to gotta have a solution for that, right? We got to have a solution for that, right? So. With that being said, I am going to show you exactly what I did in order to get this. So before we get started, we're going to go ahead and make a command JS duplicate layer. And we're going to actually, I don't know where the balloons are at on the internet, but we're going to actually go and find us a two and a zero balloon right quick. Two balloon pink. So you always want to look. Um, as close as you can to what it will look like. We're going to go PNG version. Uh, let's hit images. Let's see what comes up. Do, 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 do. I think I like this right here. This is cool, y'all. We're going to drag that. Let's see if we find a two and zero because I don't want to have to find a zero that looks identical to that. I just want to be able to. Okay, so we're just going to go on here. Let's see what Amazon can do for us. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to zoom this in, make a screenshot of it. Take it and drag it into Photoshop. You can open it up in Photoshop, actually. And we're going to do the same thing with the other balloon. Get the zero. Open this up in Photoshop. Cool, cool. Drag this right over. I really want this as a new layer, so I'm gonna put it new. I just double tapped it, y'all, to make it its own layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit select, select subject. <clears throat> it already selected, and we're gonna command C, command V. It's gonna take it out the background. I'm gonna delete that. Drag my two over to the image we need it for. Let's hit yes. That's cool. And the same thing for the zero is select subject. Um, I need to get this part out of here. So I'm just going to go my quick selection tool. I need to add this in. So I'm just using the minus and I'm just going to subtract it because I don't want to keep this. I don't want this to be selected. Command C, command V. As you see, it makes it empty. Take the zero. Drag the zero over there as well. I'm not focusing on color or anything right now. I'm just going to focus on getting it right. So now I'm going to take the two. I hit Command-T on my keyboard. I'm going to drag it to her finger. And the same thing with the zero. I'm going to drag it to her finger. Probably about right. There. And that's pretty cool. The next thing I'm going to focus on is I want to duplicate these. I mean, I want to put these in the group. So just hold shift, click the bottom layer, hit command or control G. We're going to rename this to balloons. See before, after, before, after. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to just erase, we got to make this look real. So we need to get, like, this part would not be on her hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my quick selection tool, and I'm going to select her hand so I can get an accurate account. And it's going to select her hand. Let me hide this first. We want to select her hand. That's what I'm doing now. 
and turn my layer back on and go to my <clears throat> eraser. So I have to make a selection of hand because I'm I'm not gonna go and erase around. I just want the want it to do it for me. So now what I'm do is click the two, so I'm working on the two, and I'm just gonna erase it. And same thing on this side, turn my balloon layer off. Use my quick selection tool to select her hand. It did a good job. Turn my blue balloon layer back on. Click the zero for the eraser tool. And I'm going to erase that. Looks pretty good to me. Now what we have to do, let's go find a string. Like a white balloon string. White balloon string. PNG. Oh, let's say PNF. I'm just typing too fast. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. We want one that's kind of straight. Straight side. So let's see what we can find. I don't you saying no good options. I see. I'm not really seeing no good options, y'all. So what we're going to do is, oh. <coughs> I think this is a good option. Mm -mm. We don't want no spam accounts. Let's go silver balloon string. Balloon strings are usually silver. I feel like we can work with that. So let's pull it up. I want Photoshop next to me. And we are going to just drag it over. I won't need Safari anymore. So we're going to close Safari down. Pull this back up. And we are going to work on this string. And I'm just going to end up duplicating the string, too, as well. Of course, we know the string would not be this big. So let's be honest. Let's smooth it down. Scoot it over a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is align the string up with, like, her hand, in a sense, a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> there we go. And I still don't think a string would be that big, so we can just make this a little smaller. About right there. Yeah, that looked better, y'all. All I'm going to do is duplicate this. Hit Command T, drag this over and line it up. Two with the other hand of the balloon. <clears throat> Line it up right at the tip. And I want to kind of get it like it's in her fingers. That's why I'm scooting it over. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of rotate it. Because the string don't have to be like down. I'm trying to get it like it's in between her fingers and just rotating it over and over. I think about right there should be good. Let's bag it up. Yeah, because we don't want it to look fake. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take it off of her hand. So let's just take that off. Let's do another selection of her hand again. Yeah, turn it back on. And I'm just going to paint, erase, all the way till I kind of get down to the bottom, where, of course, you could kind of tell that 
is coming through her hand, which is what I'm doing now. Boom. That look more realistic. We're going to go on the other side and do the same thing, same thing. Click the layer, her hand. Turn this off. Boom, turn it back on. Go to the eraser tool, and I'm going to keep the part all the way to about right here. So let's do that. Yeah. Now I'm going to take the rest out. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> that look good, y'all. Now we need to blend these balloons in because these balloons looking kind of fake. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with, like, the contrast stuff. We can make them a little darker. And what I'm doing is I need to attach this just to the layers below. So, yeah, as you see, like, I can kind of play with it. I'm just playing with it right now. Need to be on the darker side, in a sense. But not too dark. Yeah, so I kind of like that. I think that's cool. So I'm just going to Command J that and do that same thing to the two. And what I'm doing is I'm clipping. Clipping mask means it only applies to the thing under it. So I'm just clipping each thing and applying it to that thing under there. All right, that's the, the greatness of a clipping mask. That look good. And we're going to do the same thing for this string. The string, first of all, we need to make it darker. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We need to make it darker. Something's going to come in. Clip is right here. And we're going to play around, see how dark it needs to be. Maybe about 40 is cool. We're going to duplicate that and do the same thing. Clip this down. 40 is cool. And now we are done. Boom, boom. We are done. Doom, 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 doom. Look good to me, y'all. Then I will color grade this to make everything blend in. But that is the gist of how you get your clients some balloons when they balloons fly away. <laughs> Coach Jet is out. I will catch you at the editing boot camp. I can't wait to see y'all.